to solve it now let's exponent equation from here we have x raised to power minus x and raised to power x which is equals to 2 raised to power root 2 from here then here we can write this minus here and separate it and say this is x raised to power minus 1 then raised to power x then raised to power x from here and this is equals to 2 raised to power root 2 here and in the next term this minus 1 as well we can you know, separate it out and this will become x raised to power x raised to power x then times raised to power minus 1 which is equals to 2 raised to power root 2 here and on this side we can put this in bracket like this and we have x raised to power x raised to power x then raised to power minus 1 from the law of indices and which is equals to 2 raised to power root 2 from here then next step let's raise both sides to power of minus 1 so here we now have x raised to power x raised to power x raised to power minus 1 then raised to power minus 1 again which is equals to here on this side 2 we have 2 raised to power root 2 then raised to power minus 1 then on this side this minus we multiply each other and return to plus and we are left with x raised to power x raised to power x then equals to here this minus we multiply it then we can write this as 2 raised to power minus root 2 and in the next step we can also separate this minus together with this 2 and uh, this will become x raised to power x raised to power x equals to here we have 2 raised to power minus 1 now then raised to power root 2 and from here on the law of indices when we have a raised to power minus n, do the same thing as 1 over a raised to power n, which is negative power from there. And uh, here now, we can now write this as this become x raised to power x raised to power x equals to 1 over 2, which is raised to power root 2 from here. Then we can express root 2 here in another way and make it to be root 2 times root 2 over root 2 so we multiply by root 2 and divide by root 2 and when we write it again so this times this will give us 2 then over root 2 so we can express root 2 as 2 over root 2 and uh, this then become x raised to power x raised to power x and equals to 1 over 2 into bracket 2 over root 2 from here then also let's separate these two together with this you know 1 over 2 this becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to here we have half raised to power 2 then times 1 over root 2 from here so that here when we square this, 1 square is 1, 2 square is, you know, 4. And this will give us x raised to power x raised to power x equals to 1 over 4. Then raised to power 1 over root 2 from here. Then from here, when we have root 2, we can equally write it as 2 raised to power half. Then when we now have 1 over root 2, so we can equally write it as 1 over 2 or raised to power half because 1 raised to power half will still be 1. So now let's change this and write it as you know 1 over 2 raised to power half. So this becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 
1 over 4, then raise to power 1 over 2, then raise to power 1 over 2 again. Then in the next step, we can express this 1 over 2 up here as same thing as 2 over 4. So 1 over 2, same thing as 2 over 4, equivalent fraction. Then this becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 then raised to power half then raised to power 2 over 4 and next we can separate these two now with this half and from here this becomes x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 raised to power half then square then times here 1 over 4 then this square will affect this so that will be 1 over 4 here so we now have x raised to power x raised to power x now equals to 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 then which is also raised to power 1 over 4 so when we look at this pattern here from what we have we have x raised to power x raised to power x same number raising to the power of each other same thing here we have 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 raised to power 1 over 4 and here we can conclude that x here is equals to 1 over 4 so here we have the value of x for this given problem thank you for watching don't forget the steps, subscribe for more videos, turn the notification bell on, share this video, give a thumbs up, and if you have a comment, put it in the comment section. See you next class and bye.